Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you probably didn't expect another video from me or any of the other guys. I didn't expect to do one, but I've had a particularly good day so I thought I would share it. I've just been to see Die Hard at the cinema. First time I've ever seen Die Hard at the cinema. Anyone who says it's not a good film, you're a fucking idiot. And at the cinema, it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, the second thing that was particularly good today is uh, I got Secret Santa at work and I got a signed Big Trouble in Little Trouble poster by Kurt Russell, so that's always a day brightener. Um, yeah, what I kind of wanted to speak about is not simply Die Hard, the greatest Christmas film ever made, but also the cinema experience. Now, I went to see Die Hard at the GFT, uh, the Glasgow Film Theatre, and it's it's quite different. Um, we're quite fortunate that we've got quite a few cinemas in Glasgow. We've also got the tallest cinema in the world. Not the biggest, but the tallest. You know, if you can't build the biggest, build the tallest. Get them on a technicality. Um, and that one's kind of a bit quite different. That one's semi world, the big tall one, because it's quite sedate, it's kind of sterile. It's pretty much just you go there, you watch the film, there's nothing else to it. GFT is quite different. Um, you really kind of get the the vibe that they've, they're much more interested in film, they show a lot more kind of indie films, foreign films, that kind of thing. And every so often they'll do special screens as well, of it. I've been to see The Shine in there, Halloween, various other ones, and they're always fucking brilliant because of the atmosphere. Now, I have been to see a few films at the cinema in America, and I would have to say that there's a big difference between uh, seeing films in America and seeing films uh, in Britain. In Britain everyone's kind of quite reserved. People will tend to laugh at comedies maybe or something funny but you don't tend to get much of a reaction out of the audience. However, I tended to find that when I was in American uh, cinemas, and maybe this was a state thing, uh, but it seems to be in general there's a lot more interaction from the audience. Uh, people clapping, cheering, um, and that's kind of what it's like at the GFT. Usually with films like Die Hard and stuff like that that people have seen a million times, the audience participation is huge, uh, especially from a girl that was like two rows in front of me that was just screaming lines out all the way through the film. Uh, that was where it kind of started to get the level of like participation started to get a wee bit too far. Uh, I also did like the fact that people clapped when um, Al Pill shot that terrorist at the end of the film. I was kind of like, yeah, that's commendable. They were screaming and clapping when Alan Rickman got fucked out the window. But I mean, that is an amazing bit of cinema. Um, when he said yippee ki -yay, motherfucker, they were clapping then. They were clapping pretty much all the way through the film. Um, I think it added a lot to it as well. I went with you know, a fairly large group and there was a couple of people there that hadn't seen the film before. And one of them in particular, uh, I, th I, th I think she was up for it, but she was kind of maybe a little bit kind of sceptical when she was going in and obviously it's an amazing film, really funny, so it's got a lot for other people die hard too, but I think the fact that everyone around was having so much fun as well, it kind of rubbed it off on them too. Um, it was funny actually, that's a, another thing I went into. I wouldn't really class die hard as like a guy's film. I, I think it's kind of quite universal because there's a lot of comedy and stuff in it as well. And I think that just to write it off, oh it's just a guy's film, I'm not going to watch it if you're a girl. I think it's a little bit narrow-minded, you should give it a try, you might actually like it. Um, sorry, I've been drinking since about 4 o'clock today, I'm still in a bin, so sticking to it. Might I also suggest for anyone that drinks uh, spirits, or just actually anyone that uses ice a lot, get these whiskey stones, they're called, right? It's basically soap stone, you just chuck them in the freezer, they hold the cold. Um, that's not actually on the box. You, you know, if you're going to use that slogan, you'll have to come to me. I've got the patent. Um, and basically, it just chills your drinks and they don't dissolve, they don't add any flavour to your drinks. And I've been using them pretty regularly recently. I uh, bought them for a whole lot of people for Christmas. And uh, yeah, they're great because when you get to the bottom of your drink, it doesn't fucking get shite iced as all at the bottom and tastes absolute gash. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Uh, yeah, Die Hard was fucking amazing, but what I'm wanting to ask you guys uh, is whether you prefer the kind of interaction from the audience or no interaction from the audience. Now, I assume, or sorry, I would probably say it's different, like I said, with films like Die Hard and stuff, people have seen it before. It's maybe different with newer films, particularly if someone's maybe going to see it twice and other people haven't seen it yet and they're shouting stuff out. That's maybe not so cool, but I just wondered 
what your guys' opinions were and people clapping and kind of participating in the cinema. Also, um, funnily enough, I had an argument with someone today. She was asking me what I was doing tonight and I said, oh, I'm going to go out for a few drinks and see Die Hard. And I said, oh, not Die Hard. And I said, what do you mean not Die Hard? The best Christmas film ever made. And they said, oh, it's not the best Christmas ever made. That's Home Alone. Bullshit, right? Poor man's dying hard home alone. Think about it, right? Exactly the same. One person locked in a building with two, uh, a whole bunch of people inside, in the case of Die Hard, and two, two people in the other one. Let's face it, he was a kid. He couldn't have taken on 12 terrorists. They would have raped him in about 10 seconds. Um, you know, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's like, you know, one person trying to take care of them. So think about it that way. And you realise that Die Hard is the funnier film. It's got more action in it. Uh, it's got Bruce Willis in it. You know, you start to add things up, you realise that the Die Hard is a better film. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up fairly quickly because I'm going to go probably to my bed because it's getting kind of late. Uh, but I just want to know what your guys' thoughts were on the cinema experience and let me know in the comments below. And if I don't do a video before Christmas, have a good fucking Christmas. See you there.